in a ramblin' van with the banjo man, and his name was Hot Rod Duncan. He didn't know why they called him that, but he just went along with it. Hot Rod Duncan always felt ashamed. Hot Rod Duncan didn't know his real name or Hot Rod. Now Hot Rod had a brilliant dad who knew the banjo business. The instrument was relevant as long as it looked the part. Hot Rod Duncan didn't know how to string it. Hot Rod Duncan just opted to wing it. Soon Hot Rod was the best because he traveled well and wise. The van was actually an electric spaceship in disguise. Hot Rod Duncan hailed from the Appalachians. Hot Rod Duncan transcended other nations. Yeehaw! Learn how to string up that banjo. I tell you what. One time he took his banjo to the planet Jupiter. Among the rife intelligent life, he managed to locate her. Hot Rod Duncan found a unicorn. Hot Rod Duncan viewed his share of four. He was lonely all in that spaceship van. Eventually he began to see the banjo was his friend The spacey lady was a sexy Sadie who learned him how to end Hot Rod Duncan strung that banjo well Hot Rod Duncan played it pretty swell They adopted a doll named Cloyster When Hot Rod came to know his name he returned to planet Earth and this is where by just a hair he finally gleaned his word. Hot Rod Duncan, legend in his time. Hot Rod Duncan, read with a rhyme. The girl and he began to see a gleeful galaxy. They were so happy he phoned his pappy and the rest is history. Hot banjo Rod and you. Banjo is a silent banjo, but you can hear it in your silent instruments. Yeah, solo. Yeah, the rest is his story.